I'm going to stand over on I'm this side. Fly that way. As much as possible, yeah. You wind's really bringing it back right to here. you. What's that? And the wind's bringing it back to you this way. Uh oh. Contact. Oh. That's all right. Hey, Logan, this is your dad flying some big birds. And for the rest of you, if I happen to post this on YouTube, I'm Robin running a, uh, a Foxeer Legend 1 side by side with a Sony AS100. Both of them are at 1080p with 60 frames per second. I'll be curious to see how this works out. And since we have a bit of breeze today and I've had problems in the past with uh, wind noise on the microphones, I put a little uh, cotton over the microphones. We'll see how that works. All right, here we come for a close pass. Nice. And for those of you who don't know, this particular quad, some people call it a drone, is a Sima X8C, which we are flying without the camera and without the landing gear, just for maximum performance and maximum time. This came with all orange blades on it. I put two white blades on the front just so it's easier to tell where forward is when you're flying. For those of you who are interested or care, this is in Rancho Bernardo, California, which is actually San Diego, California. Rancho Bernardo is just a uh, division, a suburb. Just out in an open field. It's kind of nice that way. It's not a park, so we don't have people with dogs walking by. You can see those white blades on the front it really helps helps with the uh, vision, being able to pick it up in the air. I'm getting a lot of crosswind right now, so I'll be curious to see how this cotton over the microphones does. I'm hoping it helps a lot. Otherwise, right now, you'd be getting wind noise. Yeah, quite a bit, quite a little stiff breeze. No trouble flying this one, though. No, not at all. Did you guys develop those? Oh, no, no, these are toys. Oh, okay. I always see you guys, like, over by, like, the basketball courts flying those little ones. Yeah. With the big ones, we don't like flying over that close to people because they can, they can hurt you. I mean, not real bad, but they'll cut. Yeah. And bonk your head, so we don't want to accidentally get somebody over there. These are awesome. They're fun. I mean, this is literally a toy. This ranges between how you buy it from $60 to $90. Okay. So you just have to learn how to fly it, which at first is a little tricky, but if you start off slow and you follow some videos on YouTube, it's not bad at all. This is actually mine. He's, he, so is the white one there. He's flying both of them because he's trying to figure out which one he wants to buy, and he likes them both. He's, I told him just buy both. He's trying to be on a budget, you know. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have to buy it if you keep bringing it in, Mike. That's true. 
You can pick that up. It's really light. This one's quite a bit heavier. This one cuts through the wind really good. Uh, well, they both do, but the orange one does better because the orange one's a tank compared to that one. Yeah. It's about three times as heavy. Do you throw them? Can you throw on like GoPro cameras on there? Or no. Um, you could on these two. You can on the smaller ones we were flying. Yeah. I eventually will work my way up to buying a bigger drone that's not a toy that I can put a good camera on. I wanted to learn how to fly them first, though. Some people just buy the you know thousand dollar drones. Think, oh, this is no problem. I can fly this and go out and wreck it. In fact, I want to build my own drone. Um, this here is what they call a two, 250. No, excuse me. This is a 350 series, which means it's 350 millimeters corner to corner between the rotors. That's diagonally. It's 250 between them the other way. But I would like about a 500, about one and a half times bigger than this. I'd like to build it myself just for the fun of it because you can buy the kits and the components. You can buy a pre-made frame. You can buy brushless motors, controllers, put them all together for a lot less money. Then you have the satisfaction of having built them yourself. Yeah. Which is something I like doing. I like that as much or more than the flying. So when you're controlling them, what are the two, uh, what are the two joysticks on there represented for? Okay, so um, the left joystick up and down is your throttle speed up, slow down. Okay. And then left and right on that same stick is um, making it rotate on a, on a point. In fact, you want to do a yaw on that left stick, no, just left stick. Left stick turn. <laughs> left, there you go. Left stick just makes it pivot. Yeah. That's what the left stick does. Whereas the right stick tips it. So in order to get a bank turn, you have to uh, play a little game with the sticks to get it to do a bank. You can slide it or you can bank it depending on how you play with the stick. So it's not intuitive. You have to work at it. So there's a turn and a... A bank. A bank? Okay. But the, the bank isn't really a bank. It just makes it fly sideways okay. kind of like ailerons on an airplane uh -huh. so you turn and bank at this I mean turn and aileron at the same time and then you can bank you have to make it do the bank Man, these things are awesome. so the right stick if, if you're flying a helicopter they'd call the right stick the cyclic because the cyclic is what controls the entire envelope of the propeller uh -huh. this mimics helicopter controls so the right stick is still a cyclic and what it does is if you push it forward it tips forward and flies into the wind just like a helicopter would same thing if you pull it back it'll to fly backwards. You want to do some cyclic movements, forward, back, no left, right. Power, but I'll try some. So there's forward, forward. Back, forward, and then tip back, and then he can cyclic slide one way sideways. I'll slide left. There, so he's sliding left, yep, and sliding right. You can buy this if it happens to be on a good sale for about 60 bucks. If you buy it with the really crap throwaway two megapixel camera, uh -huh. it's about 70 and if you buy it with the better 5 megapixel camera which isn't too bad it's about 100. Nice. I intentionally bought it with a throwaway camera and took the camera off because I right now I just want to fly it. And it's got tall landing gear so when you put the camera under it the landing gear straddle the camera. Uh -huh. So with the camera off I took the landing gear off and just let it mount land on the uh, motor studs. That's awesome. So how, how far, far away can it get from the controls? farther than you could comfortably see it. I mean, over those trees, for example, it will easily go over there. But by the time you get over there, sometimes you lose perception of whether it's going forwards or backwards, you know, because okay. after all, it's a square, which is why I put the white blades on it, but you get far enough away and you lose that too. Yeah. So really, when it gets that far away, what you have to do is kind of jink the sticks a little bit to see which, what it's doing, and then you can kind of yeah. pick up control of it. If it gets any further than that, it's no fun to fly anyway, so. Yeah. So what's that little device you're holding? Is that like a camera? <laughs> this is two separate small movie cameras, and I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of them, so I just taped them together. Oh, nice. Yeah, but they're both taking the same quality of video, of, uh, 1080p with 60 frames a second. And the Sony's a $400 camera, those are $100 camera, so I'll be curious to see them side-by-side. -side. Yeah. So this is just fun for me. I like the videoing and watching as much as he likes the flying. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love the flying part. Man, and awesome. he's good at it too. He hasn't been doing this very long and he looks like he's been doing it forever. Yeah, he looks like he's got a bunch Logan, of energy, like all over the place. That's your daddy, he's good at this man. <laughs> hey well thanks guys, we'll let you guys oh, yeah. enjoy the time. Oops. My name's Robbie by the way. Into the power. Okay. Good to meet you man. You too. What was your name?
I'm Michael. Michael. Hey, man, I'm Hobie. Hobie. You, you sure? got to hang out to see this one fly. For sure, man. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. It's kind of a slow day inside today, so. Okay. I need to sit in my computer.